So what we didn't talk about uh, before, though it kind of regularly occurred to me, is is um, the uh, cover art in comparison with the the actual game graphics of Degeneration. I mean, there's there's any number of games where the cover art isn't representative of of what you really got, especially in the early ages, when the graphic limitations of um, the computers used were were such that they'd be very simple um, stripped back pixel graphics that's that's as best as the technology could manage but obviously um, the full ability of graphic arts were available for for the covers at the time uh, but I'm kind of interested in the, the choices of them so it kind of it looks um, more overtly horror based um, than the quite cartoonish simplified uh, graphics that you see in the actual game um, and it's just occurred to me I thought it was it's kind of an abstract pattern more like um, something uh, composed of light uh, was uh, attacking this person but I mean essentially it is red or red ovals or egg forms and um, blue cylinders that are attacking which are are the um, the creations that are the ones you have to combat in in the game, which is pretty cool, uh, and yeah, I think because I think it was nineteen ninety one, wasn't it? The the version we played last time was the um, the DOS one. Uh, I think which was the the first released version of the game, uh, and today we're going to be playing the Amiga version from nineteen ninety three. So that's a um, a full decade um, after the release of Gumball, which we've just seen. And uh, yeah, I, I think it's kind of interesting how the, at least in terms of whoever composed the graphic art for the, um, the cover, uh, was kind of preempting the, uh, the 90s edginess um, quite early on in the decade there. And I, um, I kind of dig how the, um, both the choice of having a, a forward slash in the uh, the title and the, the the typeface used and how it's styled, it's it's pretty reminiscent of anime, isn't it? Which again, probably nineties anime. Um, so there's like kind of a it's kind of a strong nineties aesthetic um, already established there. Whereas I guess the um, the actual game art is is kind of reminiscent of earlier ages, isn't it? Um, but I very effective. For all that so let's uh, without further ado let's have a look at it um, as I said we're playing the Amiga version I thought for a bit of variation we'll have that um, you might see a little uh, a little stuff going on in the background here while I load it up and I'll, I'll just let's listen to these fabulous music
Okay, as the um, kind of demo um, intro uh, bits play, um, yeah, I'd just like to introduce the other reasons for uh, playing the Amiga version this time. I thought it'd be interesting by comparison. Um, and already, um, if you've seen the, the DOS version, if you joined us last time, um, you'll see that it's very similar graphically. Um, same color palette, same same style. Um, pretty much a direct transfer of the, the same graphics. Um, same music, although um, I think the theme tune sounds even um, even beefier um, and more sparkling through the uh, the um, the Amiga emulation that we've got going on here. Um, so yeah, so you can see that, and my my uh, ah yeah, so the um, the cover graphic is kind of used in the, under the credits as well, so it suggests it was kind of at least contemporaneous with the the end of production of the game, even though the tone I think is is somewhat different to the game itself, um, which has a a more tongue in cheek approach to its um its horror elements I'd say. Okay, that's uh. Let's get it loading up so you can see a little bit more of it. It controls on the Amiga exactly the same as um, as it did on DOS. Um, so I can use the number pad to move our character around, the courier. I think they should just be the, called the courier, don't you? Um, so we can move the courier around this way and um, we can rub ourselves into switches and bump, frequently bump into walls. Um, and try to avoid things that will shoot us or um, consume us. Um, we can press enter to talk to people. We can press space bar to fire a weapon if we get one. Um, and yeah, so my the other thing I'm going to come to is that I can't actually get the save function to work on this um, emulated Amiga version. I'm not quite sure what that is. I'd have to do a bit more digging into it. But what I can do is I can um, use save states, which I'm going to do liberally. Um, save state, <laughs> save state early, save state often. Um, but that allows me to have played up to the the point we got to last time, as you'll see here, um, and and carry on from there. So we can get um, a look at the next floor, which I thought would be a cool thing, rather than retreading where we've been before. So we've got a brief comparison of the two different versions and we get to see some new stuff. So let's head to the next floor. I think we've got to get to 90 haven't we? That's going to be a, a tall order. Now I was, as I was doing my outro last time, I was thinking about how to solve this one. So I think you've got to time it, the switch. I assume this switch next to this window here is going to alternate the doors so it will lower the door that is leading from our room into the next chamber and raise the door that leads from our chamber into the one adjacent to that. So I think we want to do it so we trap just one of the balls in the room that we next go to to make it slightly easier for us to tackle and try and get them one by one. I think that's what we'd have to do. But let's test out the theory, shall we? Um, so I don't want to do it just yet, I want to wait until the one that goes up and down the strip of dark carpet goes through and then, yeah, and then actually be prepared to shoot the thing. Um, the, um, the spheres do seem to um, disappear a lot quicker when you fire at them in this version. And also, um, disappointingly, um, the pipes that shoot at you, they they don't seem to have any uh, rainbow effects on their shots. It's just kind of a plain blue burst, which I personally found a little disappointing. But um, otherwise, pretty much identical I found so far. Um, how do I get through here? So I can only use this switch, right? And that means I can't get out of this room. Do I need to go back to... Can I go back to the previous floor? Because there were potentially some areas down there that weren't explored. I'm not sure. Can I? 
they want to speak with. Oh yeah, let me show you my status. Uh, because I've been uh, <laughs> save stating after every successful uh, level, I have got um, quite a few lives and nice job rescue everybody, especially the person in the, um, the last room on the previous floor. He was uh, um, potentially in danger if I did the wrong switch at the wrong time. Can I just get through? No. God, it's just quite a pathetic sound. <laughs> Shooting uh, straight at the door. Pew, pew. Um, I don't know how to get through there. Wow, okay. I kind of wasn't expecting to get stumped. Oh, I do know how to get through there. Because you can fire to activate a switch, can't you? Like that. Okay. Um, that almost worked. What if I go... Ah. Okay, so you can stand on it. Nice. Okay, so now I need to get rid of this. I don't think it spotted me. As now. Phew, room secured. And that gets rid of the door. Fantastic. Let's have a look at these exciting boxes on the table. I suspect there's going to be actually very little in the environment that we can actually interact with, apart from destroying a few filing cabinets. Um, but it's kind of nice to check it out, isn't it? I like the, the I like that the details are there. But I'm going to save quickly, and then we'll head to the next room, and I'll be on the oh no more of the oh, more of the rainbow parents. I think the oh they're so fast. Why are they so fast? That's very fast. This is only the second level. And I think I can get to about here without getting zapped. I think there might be like a, a pinky hue that's missing from the rainbow pads this time as well. I think altogether this is a less rainbow version of the game. Um, they're sort of every other, aren't they, these ones? Um, and they appear only briefly and then disappear. Okay, I think this is doable, you just have to get your timing right and press the right button obviously. I think that's good. I did find, there. you remember there was a um, a previous very similar area in the previous floor that I replayed to get here and it, um, it was trouble, let me tell you. Uh, but uh, it seemed to be a bit more generous if I stepped slightly on an area where I shouldn't have. Okay, so this pattern, what's this pattern? Can I learn it? It kind of appears at intersections, doesn't it? I think if you just go on the... Oh, hello. I thought you might appear. I think I can just go... There you go, secure it. I think it gives you a little bit more leeway securing rooms. Um, do I need to do anything with the electrical sparkly thing? If I want to try it out, I've got to time it just right. Um, there's a switch on the wall. That's probably more what I need to do, isn't it? So I need to get past... Actually, I think I can avoid all of those things. If I go this way, and then this way, and then do the switch. I can go to this door. Interesting. I like the maze aspect of this. It's pretty interesting. Um, do I want to save it? Sure, I want to save it. There's nothing that I can't um, get back to. So let's try what's out. Ah, it's a person. Okay, nice. Anything interesting on these walls? No. So if I do. What's going to happen if I do this? Okay, let's just. Oh. Okay, I'm a bit worried about the green uh, circles because that's usually what where retracted um, shooty pipe is. So I suspect. Oh, that just closes the door. So how do I get to that? Oh, there's another switch here. All right, I suspect we're gonna get. Yep, those come up. So how am I gonna get that person out? They both rotate in the same direction. So I guess it's doable. 
Oh, hello. I don't know if I wanted to go there yet. That's going to be some of our... Uh, the next generation, isn't it? The uh, B generation, I believe. I can have a look in the manual for these. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm going to save it there. And then we'll, we'll try and do... I can do the dash to the person, alright. I'm pretty sure I can make that. I guess we can... Hi there! Handshake. No high five this time. Um, if you have any information, let's get out of here. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Can we go now? Let's go now. Let's get out of here. Can we go now? Let's get out of here. Can we leave now? <laughs> it really... <laughs> that uh, repeating dialogue works very well. Um, I think we can make it out pretty well. Do we want to go straight down, or do we want to go back around the loop? I think straight down would work, wouldn't it, actually? I think I don't want to overcomplicate it. So as soon as it's kind of like that, we can get down. Did the person get out? <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's go. Are you still there? Hi. Right. Okay, hi there. Okay. Can I, how do I You don't want to go that way. Is that Whoa Is that what we're saying? You don't actually want to go that way. I guess because that's not a clear room, is it? Okay, <laughs> and it leaves us in this situation. That's amazing. Um, I'm gonna load my food save. There we go. Uh, via the magic of emulation. We'll try that again. So I do have to go to the other exit by the by all appearances. Hello. Pleased to meet you. Let's get out of here. Uh, so, how are we going to do this? Like. Whoa. Uh, I think I think we did it. Nice. High five, everybody. Great. That worked. Uh, I think that's worth saving, isn't it? Okay, so then I've got to get three. I mean, I could disable the things again. If that would help. It might help. Uh oh. Whoa! <laughs> they can destroy each other? That's amazing! So maybe I can destroy them with a, a carefully aimed shot as well. That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Wait, let's check if I can. Oh, she's all, she's got the parcel apparently. Interesting. How do I get rid of that? Escape? Yeah, that was right. Don't, don't think I can get the right angle there. Um, I... I guess I can make it. Should I try and do it? I'll save it again before I try. So it'll be like this. Ah, oh, but I needed to get out. Okay. Oh, that's fair enough. No, I think I need heavy, whoa, heavy duty weaponry to get rid of that one. Um, so there are other weapons in the game. All right, I think we're safe here. I'm gonna pause it anyway, um, and refer to my document about this next generation. Um, B generation is a bouncing blue cylinder that crushes target extremely fast can hide in floor. I don't like the sound of that. Mm, they get they get worse, for sure. Alright. Um arm pause, I shall save. Okay, so the first thing to note there's a rainbow electrocution panel on the floor. There's a couple of switches. Which one are we going to do first? Let's try this one. But that locks us in. I'm not sure I like that one. Or do I like that one? I don't, can't see what benefit would be. I think we can have a look at that computer terminal if we get to it. Um, this one does that. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh oh. Got that a bit. Got my directions a bit wrong there. Okay, um, just do a little jammy reload there. Okay. Um. 
Well, uh, they do go fast. Ah! I got a little fumbly on the keys there. Alrighty, let's uh, let's do this thing. Ah! It's uh, it's tricky that we're so close to it. I think. I think we can do it though. We can certainly give it a try. I'm definitely finding this. Uh... Whoa! Oh no! I got squished. That's not good. <laughs> I'm definitely finding this um, a bit easier to uh, get to grips with than Gumball was. Um, for sure. Ah, that didn't quite go to plan. Oh! Lord did that. <laughs> I am. Um, while editing uh, the video for last time to put it up as a video on demand, I noticed that um, the effects when you get shot by one of the pipes or electrocuted by one of the plates um, is really effective. But essentially, all they're doing is swapping out the black in the background of the image for either white or blue, sort of flickering on and off um, to create that effect. And just that alone gives it a really effective um, sense of explosion. Oh no. Uh, right, let's try again. Oh, green, that's not, um, red, that's not good. Green is good. Oh, I guess it's not, it's not green yet because that one's sealed, but the room isn't secure. I think that's what that will mean. So it means, please get rid of this other. Thing, which I can do, but I'm going to wait until it's down the other end of the room because I know they can move fast. Ah! Oh, I got stomped. It can kind of jump sideways as well, which is not great. I didn't, probably didn't save that after I got with the first one, did I? But I will try and remember to do that this time. Okay. Wow, that's okay. That worked. Save. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's a rainbow pad. I didn't even notice the rainbow pad. Crikey. I was lucky I didn't get uh, in trouble with that. Alrighty. Um, something like that, and then. Like. Ah, uh, oh, no. Uh, right, we can go back here though, so that's, that's not so bad. I mean, I kind of enjoy being able to save wherever I want. It's making making more for a more fluid experience for me anyway. Um, I know you, some of you may think I'm I'm cheating, uh, and you may be right. Oh, well, that was harsh. I feel like I'm not being, I think I'm being like duly, duly punished for not learning how to do things. It's just avoiding unnecessary repetition. That's how I see it. Yes. Hang on, did I just blast the computer as well? Ah, I mean, that could have been valuable intel, couldn't it? Or at least another amusing advert. All right, well, how would I, maybe I could go like, I wait until it's on the way back. I'm getting in the door. It doesn't seem to clock me until I'm. Whoa! In the room. Oh, it did that time. I wonder how they perceive things. Because these creatures don't seem to have any sensory organs that are visible, anyway. Um, interesting thought for another time. Ah! Ah! I'm pressing it, I'm pressing it, but I'm facing the wall. <laughs> Tricky. Should I be less concerned about the computer? Maybe. Oh, rainbow pad.
<gasps> Who did it? Nice. Um, save. Check out the computer. Oh yeah, there's a story here. John Paul Derrida, born 24th of March 1971. Education, um, BS Chemical Engineering, Universität Bochum, 1993. PhD Physics, MIT, 1997. PhD Bioengineering, MIT, 2000. Previous employment, Pro Protein Biomodification, Russian Defense Ministry. Bioholographic Systems, Gera Technolo Technologia, Argentina. Project development of next generation Neogen prototype, GD generation. That looks like a, a real historical photo of someone. I wonder who that is. Hmm. Uh, well, I I like both that that. Oh no! Both of that was backstory, and um, and it was also destroyable. I find that really um really interesting those little those little details like I said before with uh, Gumball just kind of um, make the experience that much richer I think all right well we cleared that room not without some difficulty I'm gonna take a swig of water excuse me while I I'm gonna mute that so you don't have to listen to me swigging okay I have swug let's check out the next room oh Am I in the right window? I am now. Oh no, these things. I still can't. I had to go through the pre room on the previous level with this this stuff before. And I, my brain just couldn't work. I just had to keep trying it until I eventually got through kind of by chance. So I think we could probably get behind the third one? Probably. Oh no, no, what we could do is definitely get past the first one and then line ourselves up with the exit door and make a run that way. Yeah, we should have to do all three at once, do we? But, you know what? It doesn't hurt to save state. Ooh! <laughs> that, was, that was rather narrow, wasn't it? Okay. Yeah, you can do it bit by bit. It's not as scary as it first seems, which is actually kind of how... Um, most of this uh, has turned out, which again points to good design. I think it looks intimidating, but actually, it's pretty soluble. Is that is that the right word? Can I dissolve it? Do I mean solvable? Security key level one. I thought I already had security key level one. Security key level one for this floor, maybe. Alright, I guess the uh, the drawback is that I've got to get back again. I think, although obviously the sound is is more sophisticated here than on the Apple II for Gumball, I think there's an, a comparable kind of minimalism to, to what it's doing sound-wise, but it's effective. The, the thumping of the, the beams is is uh, effectively um, atmospheric and tells you kind of what's going on orally as well as visually and um, does put a little bit of pressure on the player and the obviously the background hum is um, is doing quite a bit of work with the foreboding there um, which is, is rather nice okay let's see where we can go here Ah, back to this one. Interesting. So we can now get through there. Um, so presumably on the square to the upper left, um, and the exit to the upper left, sorry, there's going to be a security door that we, we're going to have to get through. I think I can just get around the outside of this and not be at risk. But there is a, there's one panel here to get through. But as soon as it's disappeared, we should be all right. Yeah, there we go. All right, I'm gonna save it again. And uh, we will, oh, okay, there's a, there's a thing right there. I don't know if I destroyed something, I might have destroyed something. Okay, it's sealed. Okay, you, oh, oh no, oh no. You can get to me, okay, that's fine, that's fine. 
We we can do we can we do this. So you are coming for me. Let's seal that. Then you Phew. I kinda of just about got rid of. Which is nice. Oh there's another one. There's another one. There's another one here. Ah oh, you got me. Reload. Well this is action packed, isn't it? Actually no, it's better to I like how you move faster diagonally than Whoa, I got sandwiched. Hang on, that worked out pretty well actually. Um Okay, I'm secured for you. Um I'm a little bit worried that I'm gonna have to get this person out. Um and past the rainbow pad. I'm a little bit worried about that. I don't think that's gonna be very helpful. Hey, get me out of here! Are you conversationalists? Let's go now. No. I think our first two NPCs were the the ones who were uh, the conversationalists. And if you want to find out what they had to say, um, go back and check out the uh, the vod for for the the first floor of this level. All right. Uh, should I say? No, I need to save it here. Really. Well, they just say it if you wait long enough, which is fair enough. I mean, I few. Okay. So back the way we came, it should be safe. You should be happy to go that way, I think. Excellent. Check my... Yeah, good status. Okay. No worries. Um, okay, relatively easy to make progress from here then. Hopefully. I feel like we might even clear this floor before... Um, before the end of the stream. What do you think? We can certainly try. That's what I'm going to say. Whoa, hello, what's going on here? Oh, that didn't quite work. So, I th yeah, so I think it's just that one t to worry about. Hang on. I want to be I want to be reloading that. I want my perfect record. Uh, which, of course, is entirely end. Great. So, I think the... What are we going to do about this... Get through this door. I don't think I can get through there. Ah, oh, amazing! You can look. Oh, that was amazing. I had no idea you could lure them into a trap. That's fantastic. Saving this. Right, so I think this person is going to be quite ready to. Hello. Hi. Let's get out of here. I love the cordial shaking of hands. It's fantastic. The, um, in other games where you're... Oh, hang on, I didn't quite do that, did I? Did the person get out? Uh oh, hang on, let's reload. Let's make sure they get out. Let's not go too close to the exit area. So if I just kind of go there and get out of their way, are they going to make it out? Yeah, that's good. Okay, save there. Alright, so I can go up or down. What do you reckon? I reckon up. Okay. Um, I don't think I can do that yet. I think I might need a, a stronger weapon to eliminate that pipe. Actually, I'm not sure why I'd need to go to that pipe because there's no obvious entrance to that the lower, so we're on a higher floor by the looks of it, and there's a lower floor beneath us. I'm not sure how we get there. So there's this thing, okay. So I mean, I could time it and press the button, probably, but what would the other button do that's beyond the door? Um, so if I go like, oh, that's, that was the wrong thing. Whoa, well, you could just do that to me, I suppose. I think that did I think that did get rid of it, but I don't know why that's helpful, to be perfectly honest. So let's go down instead. Um, okay, there's a key on a rainbow pad. Of course there is. 
Hang on, what's going on? Did I? That was a proximity thing. Is there? How come that went up and down? Okay, the doors seem to change just by proximity. Oh no, they're on a timer. Oh, that's interesting. Alright, let's, let's get this. Key, because it's not a run through, it's a run past. Um, and then I'll get through here. And that thing appears and disappears on a timer, which is interesting. Doesn't seem to move very far. Does the other door beyond it go down? No, but there's a switch there. Alright, I think we've got to run past the. Uh... Oh, the bouncing ball does a switch. I think. Yeah, yeah, it bounces from switch to switch. That's a nice little mechanic. Oh, I like that. Alright, so I've got to concentrate and try and get rid of. get past this. Thing before it reappears. Yeah, I can do that. Um, so, what does this one do? I think it does switches the same things, right? But I'm not quite sure. How can I best use that? Oh, it kind of alternates them, doesn't it? So it's stuck in this room until it presses that. So I can only press that one. <laughs> so I don't think the bouncy ball can do the switch that opens the... I don't know how we get past here anyway. Okay, this is bending my brain slightly. Can I just get through this door? No. Okay, that's fine. Um, okay, so it's doing this little thing. Uh, I think I'm the only one who can do the... Open the door to its room. Is that remaining open? all this time, or does it go up at any point? It doesn't. Okay, no, so I have solved that puzzle. I just need to time my... Yeah, my... Great. That was... I was unnecessarily confusing things. I just need to time my uh, egress um, with the disappearance of the killer tube. Okay, that's fine. And then go... Die, die. Oh, that one's trapped. Okay. Die, die. Die. <laughs> die, die. Oh. Oh, now I can't. Hang on. Does that one do it? Yeah, what does it? Oh, <laughs> this is going to get a bit annoying, isn't it? Oh, now they're. Oh, their paths are off. Interesting. Oh, the um, hard path programming of them is really interesting. Okay. <laughs> and the fact that I keep shooting the uh, the other bit doesn't really help me. Blimey, that was tough. So actually if I press that one, that goes away and I can get past Scott Free. Look at that. So I might be, because of the pleasures of isometric or, or diametric, whichever this is, I might be on that lower level now, even though I haven't gone down anything. No, this is a new this is a new thing, isn't it? Okay. Looks like there's a, a Genoc. Uh, oh, there's a new terminal. Okay, I want to get to that. 
for sure. Um, right, let's enter the room of pain. Ah, no, no, no. Whoa, I somehow did that. And got the other one too. Amazing. Okay, they're gone, which is a relief. Um, trigger happiness, definitely a virtue. Especially in the Amiga version, it is. Ooh, username. Interesting. Nice. Can I just tie? Oh, I don't know how I do it. I don't have. There's no mouse control, is there? Can I type? I can't type. Ooh. I mean, is there mouse control? No. Well, I'm not sure what I'd do there. Can I use the. Uh, I can't use the number pad keys or the arrow keys. Can I use WASD? WASD don't work. That's interesting. I wonder what that's all about. Or indeed, how we get out of this particular conundrum. Oh, it appears to be stuck. That's not great, is it? Um, hold on, let me see if there's anything in the manual about this. There could be. Um, survivors? Questioning survivors? Hint, use computer terminals to get additional information. Interesting. I wonder what I'm supposed to be able to do here. Because I, I can't type. And I can't seem to get out of it. Or uh, do anything, in fact. So that's not great. Hmm. I'm going to have to reload, aren't I? Okay, let's reload. And try that again. Um, and I will save before using the computer. Okay, that was pretty effective. How do I get into this door? Oh, the thing I... The, no. No? Does the bouncing ball open it by itself? Because I don't think I did anything to open it myself before. And yet it was open. Well, that's interesting. So could it be the switch on the... Is it this switch? Yeah, it is. Okay. Nice. Blasted it. Okay. Took you long enough. <laughs> Just kidding. Hey, who are you anyways? I'm a courier. I'm trying to find Derrida. Derrida? Then what are you doing down here? We've got a long way to go to find him. Hey, look, I found this thing. It's got warning labels on it. Some kind of explosive. You can take it if you just get me out of here, alright? Sure. Great. Oh, I don't think you're going to have much luck getting through that purple door. They never gave me the password to the workstation that opens it. Could we go now? Let's get out of here. Okay. Ooh, I wonder how we find the password. I like this adventure element. Oh no, we've got to get so we've got to get our new friend. Uh, past this exciting rainbow block. Okay, uh, I think we're safe there. Yep. So we'll save it first. Go run. You're welcome. Okay. So we probably need like a username and password for the computer terminal, which I don't think I have yet. I wonder. Um, I guess that could be the information from. Derrida's computer? Could put in like his date of birth or. Interesting, interesting. So, I don't actually know how to get further through here, do I? Because this one does that one. And there's no security door here.
and that opens the cell door. Okay, so I think this is kind of the end of... Ooh, I do like the adventure puzzle elements of this, where you've got to backtrack and stuff. It um, makes it less like an arcade game in that respect, and more like a, a general puzzler, which I like. Okay, not really sure. I mean, we can go north here, can't we? We can try this bit again. Um, which I'm not really convinced of. I'm not sure how we get to any section of this. There's potentially like a security arrow there that we could get to if we were crafty enough. But I, um, I'm not sure how to enter that particular room. Interesting. Well, this is, um, yeah, rather than just um, being a challenge of dexterity, this is um, challenging me to, to work it out in a, uh, a more complicated fashion too. So there's not, it's not really anything here, is there? I mean, potentially I could blow, blow a hole in things with the... Ah, I've got one bomb. What would I? What should I use my bomb on? Um, or do I need to press to actually use the bomb as well? Let's check that out. Uh, so, um, where in the manual is the bomb? Press you to see how many, if any, of the weapons you have. To select available weapon, press equals and minus to highlight then press enter oh so like plus and minus to select a weapon um, and press enter when I've got the one I want so I'm gonna s go back here and save and so what if I try to use a bomb just right here Oh, I blow up too? That's not good, is it? Why do I blow up? Ah, hang on, why did I do that? That wasn't sensible. <laughs> I, saw, I saw a switch and switched it. <laughs> Who could blame me? Um, so if I want to do a, I want to do a bomb, right? Oh, if you, oh, okay, so I didn't need to press enter. Anything. Okay, so that didn't actually do anything, did it? Okay, that's fine. Um, well, let's go back to the other room that we could get to. Let's see if there's anything there that's useful. So I've got to. So the. Can I blow up one of the. Uh, so, can I block the blue door? Is that possible? Okay, I feel like I'm fairly far away from that. Oh, it does, but it blows up the... Hang on, does it blow up enough for me to get past? Oh, it does. Interesting. But it blows up the computer too. Wasn't the door locked? Sorry. No problem. Good thing you came along anyway. I thought that I was going to scoop out my eyeballs with a spoon and make some nice Christmas ornaments and show them to all my friends. But thank goodness you came along. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, my name's Seth. This is my room. It's a bit small, but do you like it? No chairs, Seth. Do you know the passcode to open the door? Yes, yes I do. You think you could tell it to me? Oh sure, well, actually I'm not supposed to, but I guess I could. Uh, wait, it starts with a P. No, wait, it's ostrich. Thanks, thanks a lot. Hey, anytime. 
Wanna wanna go get dinner now? I think I think we just got asked out on a date. That's fantastic. What happens if we do was that just the pit that was just the pink door, wasn't it? Okay. Um mind if I raid your stuff, sir. So I think this has gone slightly wrong because I've blown up the terminal. So I'm not gonna be able to get through the door. So how do we get through there without blowing up the uh the terminal, I wonder. And um would the terminal autofill the ostrich password if we knew it? That's what I'm contemplating. I wonder if you can just close to zap the doors? Probably not. Is what I am thinking. They tend to be reflective. Um, so even if they're doors like this with no visible bolts on, yeah, they're not not destructible by um, laser beam. Hmm. Bit of a puzzler, eh? Bit of a poser. Um, so I'd really like to blow this door up, please. Can you, th can you throw? So, hang on, what, uh, what am I equipped with at the moment? I'm equipped with laser beam. Um, Just having a quick look at the uh, manual again. So if I when I get grenades, I throw them by pressing T. Interesting. Um, is there so? Uh, I'm all. More good, right? So if I save here, and then maybe if I set the bomb here, is that good? Wow, why did it get me? So do things in kind of like a line of sight? I'm not sure. Um, if so, then maybe here is okay? Because that's not where the um, computer is directly. So I'm over here, it shouldn't be in the line of sight with that. Oh no, it does at least like a four square of damage. Yeah, it's definitely an area of effect for that, isn't there? Hmm. Right, let's double look at this terminal again. How do you get out of it? Interesting. I think I might have to leave the stream here with this puzzler. And I can't seem to get out of. And we'll um we might come back to it another time. Um I, I definitely want don't want to leave you on a cliffhanger. Um I might have to look up uh the solution to this one, I think. Um so I think that blueberry is the only useful, destructible one in the place. Not being silly, am I? That doesn't... You know, and there's nothing on the... Um, yeah. So hang on, the, uh, uh, the terminal there, username, so we could put in Seth, couldn't we? Seth. That doesn't work. Shame. Um, it looks like it should, doesn't it? it? Looks like it should. Kind of curious why the number one is greyed out as well. Something's not quite right there. Never fear. I'll I'll have to investigate it, and um, if I can bring the solution to you, I shall.
I hope you're dancing too. That is good, isn't it? It feels a shame to talk over that. Okay, let's load up our save state. Here we are. So, um, the technical problem I was having with the keyboard before um, was produce of the fact that I'm actually emulating the CD32 version. So, Amiga CD32 version of this game. If you're not familiar with it, um, uh, the majority of Amigas were um, home computers, so with mouse and keyboard uh, affairs. Uh, the CD32 was a console version of the Amiga, a very short-lived one, um, at the end of the life of uh, Commodore, as the, the company went bankrupt uh, not long after the CD32's launch. So it was a CD-based um, video game console that had a controller instead of a keyboard. You could adapt it yourself to have a keyboard, but this wasn't designed for it. So I was a bit thrown off because uh, the keyboard controls that I was familiar with from the DOS version worked perfectly well with this, uh, but until it came to the keyboard, which um, does need to be controlled in a different way. So we'll um, we will hopefully be able to resolve that. Now I've uh, sorted the controls out, and I should be emulating. Oh, I'm not. Oh well, this is disappointing. Hello, everyone. Uh, we're we're right back. Apologies for the uh, <laughs> the interlude in which you could see everything moving around and hear the game audio, but I was muted. Uh, I had a little mouse and brain malfunction there. Uh, so as I was uh, previously trying to say, um, I needed to emulate the CD32's controller as well, uh, which I hadn't previously been doing. Uh, because most of the keyboard controls still work in this version, but um, there are specific uh, controls I need from the controller. That's ironically the only way we can get the in game keyboard to work. Um, so I was also explaining uh, that uh, even if we can get that keyboard to work, how do we solve the problem of the um, blue door, which is over. Getting used to this keypad again. Um, the blue door, which is over here, um, because there's no switch to open it. This switch just does that door. Um, and we, yes, we haven't found any other way to control it. And we know the person behind it is the only one who has the username and password information for this terminal that we need to use, which will get us past the pink door which is in the upper centre of the room, as you're looking at it now. We have been given a bomb, which um, we saw up briefly uh, as the, the sound came back a moment ago. Um, but if we use that, that blows up the terminal as well. So we're stuck. Unless we do this particular thing, which I think is the f my first uh, qualm with the game. Because I've been absolutely on board with it until now. There's a hidden switch there. I don't know how you're supposed to know that. Um, unlike when there was the hidden laser gun, um, which uh, had an obvious glow and aura around it to guide us, there was nothing there to suggest that, that destroying that uh, container or, or bin or whatever it was um, would yield anything. Uh, so I think you'd 
very easily miss that um, and be stuck unless you, you have to accidentally shoot in that room. Um, and you'd probably be unlikely to because it seems like it's only going to house the um, the SKP who was in there um, and you're not going to shoot around them for fear of injury. So I think the game has been a little unfair with us there. So my only uh, qualm with the was otherwise been a very clear um, and lucid design. Wasn't the door locked? Oh, hang on. That. Uh, how do I unpause? How do I talk to people again? Right, I've got this. Right, otherwise I'll shoot. There we go. Sorry. No problem. Good thing you came along anyway. I thought that I was going to scoop out my eyeballs with a spoon and make some nice Christmas ornaments and show them to all my friends. But thank goodness you came along. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, my name's Seth. This is my room. It's a bit small, but do you like it? Seth's so into us. Do you know the passcode to open the door, Seth? Yes, yes I do. Do you think you could tell it to me? Oh, sure, well, actually I'm not supposed to, but I guess I could. Uh, wait, it starts with a P. No, wait, it's ostrich. So, it's capitalised there, so I guess I'm going to have to capitalise it. Thanks, thanks a lot. Hey, in time, want to go get dinner now? Yeah, see, Seth is so asking us out. We'll leave now. Let's go now. Okay, uh, if I head, it's a bit awkward, but if you go first, Seth, so that you are saved. That's great. Okay, I'm going to do a little quick save there, and then we'll attempt to use this, oops, I didn't intend to do that. Let's attempt to use this terminal. Looking good. So you'll notice that uh, one is apparent, and it's flashing, and hopefully, yeah, I can use the arrow keys on the keyboard, uh, instead of the direction pad on the controller. Ooh, everything's a bit floaty um, with this system. Not the best, but it should be good enough to... Uh, Get us through, I hope. So, uh, what do I press to select? Do I remember? Was it C? Yeah. Um, so I have to press C on the keyboard now to select my inputs. Uh, and it's, yeah, so it's a, an on screen keyboard deal. So that should be correct, hopefully. Seth is the user. And um, return there. And then capitalized ostrich. So uh, hopefully this is going to work and get us access to the next room. Um, um, we did a lot of this, what well, felt like a lot of this floor, um, last stream. So I'm hoping we can finish this floor up in this session. That's my hope. Oh, oh you can go backwards. That's fantastic. Yes. Okay, great. We did it. So I will attempt to continue playing this uh, floor with the current uh, emulation setup and we'll we'll see how how easy it goes. Um, I can still space bar to fire which is a relief because I enjoy pressing space bar to fire. So I'm a little bit concerned that there are two two oh yeah two panels there. Okay I'm gonna reload that. Okay uh, I, th I think yeah I think it's probably only two Two directional buttons that I'll really need. Ah, what did I? How did I get destroyed? I just did. I just get eaten up. I just got zapped. How did that happen? Okay. Uh, this is gonna be a, a bit tricky, isn't it? So can I wait until that gets kind of over? Oh, let's be facing the right direction, don't I? Oh, I've destroyed a key, haven't I? There used to be a key on that pad. Hang on, let's load. Do I destroy a key if I shoot here? There's no key there now. Oh, I don't like that. Where's that key gone? Do you remember? There used to be a key there. I guess we might not need it. Okay, well let's just try this 
I'm fairly certain that when we saw this screen from a different direction before, there was in fact a key on that rainbow pad. Okay. Alright, I think we're kind of alright. Hey, okay. So we just need to do the security lock maybe? I don't know if that'll that'll work. Um Okay, um, okay, that seems to have worked, so I'm gonna save, oh, there's a rainbow pad there, okay, I made that, right, I'm gonna save again, um, and hope I haven't somehow messed this up. So, what's that thing with the purple, what's the blackness with the purple hole around it? Whoa, what was, what is it? You don't want to walk on it, I think is is my takeaway there. Well, okay. Okay, that's reasonably secure. Um Oh hang on, this there's a way to get out here. But what about, if I go and have a look back here, so what's this upper section all about that's got, oh, do I need that special glowing cube and the um, key, and do I need to get them by deactivating those green pipes, and do I need to go through the, the duct with the pink outside? I'm not certain. Um, I can probably do this this journey thing, can't I? How do I do this journey thing? So that isn't danger for me. That isn't danger for okay. Ah! Oh yeah, I forgot. Okay, the room is secured. That's nice. What can I get by doing that? Oh, alright, so this room actually isn't, that is the way out, but it's not helped me right now. Okay. Alrighty, um, what do we do with this thing then? So that looked weird and spiky before. Can I step on it? Well, I can. Uh, but I don't know how to... How do I get past those guys? Okay, so if I have a look at the rainbow pattern, that's just the uh, like the inside of that corner. Right? So... How... How would I do that? How would I get past these things? So I have to time it right so that I can kind of run up and past them and back again? That's going to be very difficult, isn't it? Um, Alright, I've restored to the previous save state. Um, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Oh, I, oh, okay. I found a different button, to, accidentally found a different button to speak to people with, which is nice. Um, hmm. You know what? Perhaps at that point they can't see you. Should we test out that theory? Oh, that they, they they can. They definitely can see you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so maybe do it right when it's like go around a grenade. Okay, you know what? Actually, I could plant a bomb, couldn't I? Uh, but I'd have to work out how to uh, drop the. Okay. 
to that. No, it didn't drop a bomb. Well, that was moderately successful, I'd say. What do you think? Moderately successful. So, get it when it's there. Whoa, that one got me. Okay, I didn't... Oh, I know where it's probably slipped on a rainbow pad as well. Okay. Okay. Uh, I might have got a little bit lucky first time around. But you can kind of do the circuit reasonably well. So how would I drop the drop the bomb, as they say? Um, how would I s select that with this one? Oh, uh, but then I in kind of got to move. Oh, I do think I did set it. Could you hear it going pum pum pum? I think that means I'd set the bomb. But then I kind of got to get away from it too, which is interesting. Um, so I could kind of make a run for the middle, but that's kind of risky, isn't it? Uh, all right, we'll try again. To wait for an opportunity to strike. Like that. Because we know they can kind of destroy each other. We know that. At. Um, so if I press that and then get. Oh, oh, there's the bomb that you see it going. Okay. This is going to be a tricky one. Oh, I got a bit too fast there. Why is this so tricky? Okay. Uh -oh, that wasn't quite what I was trying to do. Um, it's, it's quite tricky to look at the keys that you need to you whoa use and whoa okay I think that's gonna oh ah um, I've got something to fire throw grenades with but it's probably gonna blow up the key as well isn't it I imagine it would blow up the key this is the kind of game where you could blow up the key um, am I gonna save state here yeah let's do it it's not really a risk, is it? Uh, Alright, so I need to sneak past here and then get this key. And then. No! <laughs> that didn't quite go right. Um, yeah, this is better. This is better. You can't quite see me there, can you, you cheeky little. cheeky little pipe. Um, okay, maybe I can do it this way. I can! Oh, look at me go! Yeah, so actually... Yeah, so there's some stuff... I mean, perhaps the grenade was just there to give us the... Whew, the um, choice of an extra way to get there. Okay, so I think this is... is this it? Okay, nice, we can get through. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna actually, I will save it there and leave the next four up 82 as a surprise for another time, possibly. I um, I really like the game. It's it's a compelling uh, setup, Good. I think it's really good controls, apart from the one uh, gripe I have with this particular um, level. I think it's been really well designed, really well um, laid out graphically, um, and it's it's fun to play. It's a good level of challenge. It looks more challenging than it is, at least at this stage. Um, and it's really good at encouraging me to play on. So I'm very happy with it. I don't know if I'll stream more. I might um, record more play uh, off stream and maybe um, run it as a let's play every now and again. Um, but yeah, so for now, uh, a big thumbs up for Degeneration, 
um, thank you very much for for joining me. Thank you for joining me for another another stream, another secret stream. Um, and until next time, take care. Bye bye.